Hello folks, Jason Christman, Grazing Acres Farm. Getting ready to start a little experiment and I wanted to share it with you. First things first, I just enrolled a bale right there for the herd to eat this morning. I got their second bale and the feeder. We're gonna place it in these brambles and over the next few days, we're gonna move it around. See how much we can beat them brambles down. I see my cow named Red heading this way, so I better get to work. And look, here comes her calf. Just like mama, gonna get in the way. What a rush, never fails. You bring in a bale, good intentions of placing it before the herd moves to it, never works. So you're always rushed. So I'm currently out of breath. But I wanted to share the location of this bale, kind of show what it looks like a little bit more. You can see a uh, pretty decent sized area here just lined out with uh, brambles. Um, it's pretty bad shape. This is one area that I really hate coming through in the summer just because you get all cut up. So if we can beat this down a little bit, it's gonna make a huge improvement to this pasture. So the game plan is, is I'm gonna do this, this section here of brambles. And after we beat it all down, just like an area we did on up there, um, I'm just going to keep leapfrogging along until I've got all the bramble areas beat down. So, this is day one. We'll see what it looks like in the morning. Okay, so it's the next morning now. We can uh, take a closer look at uh, what kind of damage they did to these brambles yesterday. I still need to go get another bale for this morning. I uh, just enrolled a bale pretty much about the same area where I unrolled one yesterday. But look here where the brambles were. What a difference. So I think with today's bale, I'm gonna place it maybe, I don't know, just a couple feet from the dirt over an end and right there. And uh, we'll see how much we can keep beating this down. But pretty impressive, uh, very little hay left, uh, then lots of trampling. As you can see, everything looks really, really good. Pretty impressed. Okay, just been a couple minutes and uh, I've got the second bale placed. You can see here's where it was yesterday. There's where they are this morning. So we're beating this down pretty quick like. Just uh, the one bale, I'm pretty impressed. I actually see a piece of twine that I missed yesterday. We'll get that picked up. But look at this. It's amazing. So, tomorrow, I imagine, we'll leap over here where the hay cart's sitting and just keep working our way right down the hill. Pretty impressed so far, though. Let's go down here and take a look up the hill and see how it looks. And just think, about 12 or 24 hours ago, this area here, We've been like looking at this. Huge difference, huh? So we'll see what tomorrow brings. Stay tuned. So up to this point, I have missed a couple of the bales that I placed as far as adding them to this video. But I wanted to show you what this area is looking like now. Where this cow standing is where the first bale was placed. From there, we moved the bale over to here and then it was here then it was down there with that red steer standing and now we're here the only thing that's changed as far as the bales is these ones that were fed up here these three were uh, dry hay that one down there and this one here are wet hay or uh, what you would see completely wrapped in usually the white plastic. Um, so that's the only difference. But if you notice, the brambles are pretty much gone in this area. Now sure, I could place a bale here, knock out these few, and I do plan to knock those ones back with a bale. And may even set one right on that model four rose bush and knock these down at the same time may do one there but you can see 
with very little effort on my part. All I have to do is place the bale and return, and this is what I get. Very good response from the cattle. Um, they're doing a great job at beating this down. Now, my experience with doing this with brambles is usually when they first come back, they take off like a vengeance because of all the fertilizer you're adding. So, I'm going to have to do something to combat that come spring. Rather, that means confining them in the paddocks on this area so that they beat back the brambles as they start to make their new spring starts or dragging something across it. I'm not sure. I think probably the easiest option is going to be placing the cattle here, confining them to a paddocks, and just letting them trample it down. But we'll see. I'm pretty happy with the response so far and how it looks. Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comments. Um, how do you think it looks? What do you think uh, maybe I should try come spring to keep the brambles from coming in and taking this area over? I would love to see this come back in some nice uh, pasture grasses and forage instead of the dang brambles. Um, you know, the brambles, they're concerns for a few reasons. For one, uh, they're just nasty to walk through. They catch on your poly wire every time you pull it through here. It's like snag, 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 snag. So that's a pain. Um, the brambles, at the same time, um, you know, deer run through here, and, uh, you know, I imagine deer carrying black leg, all it's going to take is, uh, for one of these thorns to, uh, catch a deer, and then a cow with an open wound to rub on it. Um, I guess maybe I should be concerned, um, placing the cattle here to, uh, beat this down, but you know, I've never had a black leg problem here on the farm, and we don't really give any vaccines to prevent it. Um, everybody freaks out when I tell them that, but um, I'm telling you, I'm um, going on my seventh year of doing this, haven't had a black leg issue. So I kind of wonder how much hype has built up around this black leg. Look at that nasty thorn. Just waiting to snag somebody. But it's never been a problem. So I have, with that said, I guess I don't have any issues placing the hay on the brambles for the cows to beat it back or the all four rows here. Um, they got some calves over there trying to push each other around. But anyway, just wanted to share. Hey, here's another interesting thing. You know, you, you get these calves and uh, a cow has a calf, let's put it this way, and uh, you wean it. And uh, from that point on, mama and baby usually don't see each other because you separate them. Well, this Hereford steer that you're looking at here, he left the farm about midsummer, and he recently come back just because it's uh, the hay we purchased is closer to this farm than the farm that my uh, the guy I manage for uh, lives at. So it was easier for him to bring steers here versus hauling hay back to his place. But you see this. Uh, black and white face cow here just on the other side of him. That happens to be his mom. I find it very, uh, I guess, cool or unique that uh, mama and baby find their way back to each other, even though mama has another calf now. And I don't know if it's right around here or not. Let's see. Kind of looks similar to that uh, white faced one there, but not quite as much white on its face. Yeah, I don't see her calf right now. Don't see the little guy. But anyway, folks, this is what the brambles are looking like. You got mama eating with her older baby, eating some fresh alfalfa hay, which smells amazing. It smells so good, I'm almost ready to put my head in the feeder and have some with them. So we got one here, we're feeding one up here, and we're feeding one up here. I uh, placed these three last night, and uh, I'll tell you, with this wet hay, they are a little bit bigger bales than the 5x5s five we usually feed, but uh, we're getting about 
two to three days out of three bales. So very happy with that. Compared to the dry hay, uh, I was feeding two bales a day and every day because they would eat it all every day. Wet hay is lasting a little longer, which I'm glad to see. A hey, good looking steer, huh? Anyway, folks, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click on that little bell so you get notified when I release new videos. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you leave them down below. And uh, hey, if you enjoyed the video, throw me a big thumbs up. It'd be appreciated, right, big guy? Right? Yeah. So yeah, we'd appreciate it. Thanks for watching, Grazing Acres Farm.